This method explains a detailed procedure for cephanous vein tissue engineering. We also demonstrate preparation of decellularization setups and bioreactor for recellularization using simple apparatus. The main advantage of this technique is that a simple blood sample is required for recellularization, thus eliminating painful bone marrow collection and time-consuming cell culture processors. For Triton X100 perfusion and washing, prepare decellularization setup 1. To a 2-liter chamber, tape all three pieces of tube A. Tape one tube to the wall where the edge touches the bottom of the chamber for the detergent's inlet. Tape the other two tubes to the opposite wall with a distance of 5 to 10 centimeters in between, depending on the length of the vein. At least 5 centimeters of these tubes should also be taped to the chamber's floor. Connect the detergent's inlet tube to tube B using the male and female lure connectors. Then connect tube B to tube F and tube F to tube C. Connect tube C to the vein inlet. Now, place tube F into the cassette of the peristaltic pump. Take another tube C and connect one end to the vein's outlet. Place the other end into a glass jar equipped with a bottom hose outlet and positioned 45 centimeters above the chamber and tape it to secure.